morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I have made it to St. Lucia. I am at um, the public beach near the resort that I'm staying at. It is Friday morning. I got up really early. They are in a different time zone than Atlanta. So right now we're an hour ahead because I don't believe that they observe daylight saving. So that's why it's different. It's like Atlantic standard time or something like that. Anyway, so I just wanted to catch you up and tell you guys what happened yesterday because I didn't really film much. I woke up at 2 a.m. I had every intention to film me getting ready to pack and go through some of the things that I packed. I definitely overpacked, definitely. But oh well, I overpacked, I packed a bunch of stuff. Um, the only thing is, and I knew this in advance, is that they have different outlets. They have um, the outlets like the UK. And I have a converter that I've had for years that I use, that I bought on Amazon. Well, I plug it up and it has USB outlet. It changes from US to UK to the EU standard size um, insert. Um, and there's four USB ports, but it's the USB, I guess that's USB-A, like the old school USB. It has four of those ports. Well, I don't have an iPhone charger with that sort of thing. I only have the lightning charger and I brought an external charger. I'm gonna have to buy another one because for whatever reason, whenever I plug, you should be able to plug a plug into there and it's not working. So that's an issue because I also want to be able to, I need to be able to charge my external charger at some point and it's not charging on there either. So I got to figure that out. The airport experience was fine. The flight was a little late. I don't know why because we were on the plane. I guess it was just like traffic. Going through customs and everything was really simple and we did have to wait a while. We used a, uh, the service that 10 vacation days booked for us was like solar beach travel or something like that. We had to wait until there were other people in our group. Um, so there were three of us coming a part of this group on the same flight. So we're there, we land everything. We had to wait for two more planes to land and for them to come through so that we could go. So that was tiresome. And then it's like an hour and a half, two hour drive around the island. So the airport that we flew into is like the big airport. It's all the way on the south side of the island and where most of the resort are is on the north side where we are now um, in the Rodney Bay area. So that took a long time. I was tired, I've been up since two. We get here, it's like 7 p.m. I'm running on fumes. We went by, there's two restaurants at the resort. One of them you have to make reservations 24 hours in advance, and the other one is the buffet. The buffet is what inclu is included. The resort is an all-inclusive resort. However, I'm gonna be totally honest. So we went by the buffet last night. I was like, uh-uh, and I'm hungry. I haven't really eaten today. So one of the bartenders recommended another restaurant, that's a seafood restaurant that was open late, that was nearby. We go to the front desk and ask them what's the best way for us to get there and she tells us to take the street, it's safest, than walking on the beach at night in the dark. So we're like, okay, but we went out there and we saw an Indian and Greek restaurant. So we went there, the food was really good, service was excellent, drinks were good, um, they were a little sweet, but I think that a lot of the, uh, just, I don't know, I kind of feel like that's a Caribbean thing. They like sweet drinks here. So anyway, I uh, got up this morning, my friend Raven is here. Raven let me know that she was gonna uh, come down and check out the breakfast. She told me what it was, and we've decided we're gonna go to another restaurant today. And then at 10.30, the people who brought us here from the airport are supposed to come and talk to us about scheduling tours and stuff. I would prefer a text message, but hey, I guess they're a lot more personable. Anyway, uh, today we'll be getting out to explore the island. We have some free time during the day, and then tonight we're doing a sunset cruise. So I am excited about the sunset cruise. I wanna see what it's giving. Yeah, so we'll see. But let's go check out this other restaurant. Come on. All right, you guys, so I ended up going to Spinnaker's for breakfast, but I didn't really vlog anything. I guess I could have gotten some shots of 
the space, but it wasn't much there, and they were playing a lot of music, so I knew that YouTube was not gonna let that fly. So anyway, I went there for breakfast. They had um, like a full breakfast menu. They had the full English breakfast. They had a full Creole breakfast, and they had regular stuff like. You know, like a BLT. They had French toast with bacon, which is what I got. They had pancakes. I would go back, but I think next time I would just get the pancakes. I wasn't crazy about the French toast. Bacon was just okay. And so we ate there. Um, I had a drink called Piton Snow. And it was like coconut cream, lime juice, and rum. And it was like a frozen drink. It was tasty. A little heavy on the lime. I would like more coconut, but all good. And then we just kind of chill. We met some people along the beach. You know, the beach hustlers be out. So they were out. They were telling us about different stuff. And tonight is what I'm really excited about is the street party. So there's a street party, the grocery lit. Before we do that right now, I'm in the lobby. We're waiting for the car to come get us. We are going to go on a sunset catamaran cruise. There's an open bar. There's a DJ with music and uh, there's snacks. I don't know what kind of snacks. Now, the tour people are running late, so I hope we don't miss the sunset because it seems to be falling quickly and I don't want to just have a nighttime trip. Like, look. Yeah, like, look, it's getting darker. So I don't know. Raven's here, look at you. Put in pain, you guys. I hope that there is enough light by the time we make it there. Oh, I can show you guys one. I've worn this before. I'm in a swimsuit underneath this. It's quite pink. I love the cutouts. And this is from Amazon. I love me some Amazon. And then this is how my hair turned out. The hair that I waited an hour to get done. My scalp is hurting. I've been taking a Cedrin around the clock. So pray for me. And guess what? Things did not go exactly as planned, but luckily our host, Denny from Kim Vacation Days, which is who I was on the trip with, she was able to make a pivot. So there was like a car accident or something that basically had the roads stopped and we didn't make it in time for the sunset cruise. We were pretty bummed, but Denny turned it around and we got to do a nighttime catamaran cruise. And so that made it better. There was still an open bar. There was still music. We had a good time. It was night. We couldn't see as much but it was still a really cool view just to be out in the ocean and then we went over to the street party that we were looking forward to by this time honestly I was really pooped Everybody. So today we are on a very scenic journey through the mountains. We left the resort some time ago and we are going to go hike the Petons. Pizza Falls. I don't know how you say the word steel. We're gonna do a mud bath. I am going to brave this mountain thing and hike up there. Cause everybody keeps saying the views are great. I just, uh, and if my foot is swollen, my foot is swollen. I just hope I don't fall. But I'm excited to go see. We've seen some pretty views along the way. It's just, I don't think I'll ever get over these roads and how windy they are. Like they have to be, but everybody here is just driving so great. I would never rent a car here or anything because for what? So I can die. That's like a death wish. Margot Bay is where we're going or what we're gonna be able to see. I'll try and get a shot for you guys. What do y'all think of the um, scenery so far though? Let me know. And then I'll tell you why uh, this might take a second. So last night, um, the sunset cruise, the company didn't pick us up in time, so we missed it. But Denny came through and called one of the people that she met before when she was here. And we ended up doing like a cruise, um, just us, it was private, it was fun. We did a little karaoke on the boat um, and we just cruised around a little bit. It was very dark, but it was also very beautiful. Let me prepare you. If you visit St. Lucia and you plan to go to hike the Pitons or to Hotel Chocolat, all of those things are really far away from where most of the resorts are in Gros Islet. We took a road trip and luckily our driver was really nice. He was really knowledgeable about the history of St. Lucia. So not only was he sharing information with us, he was making sure to stop along the scenic parts of the highway where we could stop and get some pictures. It's 
So, behind me are the pitons right here, and then there's a sulfur spring somewhere in there. And we're gonna go check all of that out. That's what the long journey is for. We've been in the car for, how is it? An hour and a half. We've stopped a few times to see like the scenery. I'm a little tired now. It says it's simply awesome. I don't smell nothing, but I bet the views are what's simply awesome. The tour guide thought that I couldn't carry my backpack because he said it was heavy. It was really just like, it's big, but it wasn't too heavy for me, but it was just too much on my foot. I could feel it swelling, it was hurting, and I didn't wanna push myself. So I didn't go all the way up, but I did go up part of the way, and the other ladies went ahead of me. They made it halfway up the mountain, and then uh, they came back down, met me at the first lookout point. It's other people here now, but I asked Raven to stop because I need to film her, because why is she here? way ahead of everybody else. She's not even sweating, I don't think. Everybody else looks like death. And look at her. Good, yeah, I met a lot of people. I'm on the phone with Thomas. Hey, Thomas. How was it? Um, It was nice, I'll show you the view. Mm -hmm. Was it much different than this? Well, I never saw it, it was so beautiful. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> The next stop was the sulfur bath or mineral bath in the hot spring. It smells like boiled eggs. I am going to warn you if you didn't know what it smelled like, yeah, be prepared. But it was, it was kind of a cool experience, but honestly, once I was looking at how muddy it was, Okay, so I made it to the fall, the waterfall. This is it behind me. Look at how cool thing went. I think I'm just hangry. On this particular day, Sunday was actually a free day for us. So I just spent some time at the beach, putting my toes in the sand, watching the water rise and fall. It was just a beautiful day. It was nice out. I chatted with a few local people, a few other travelers, and I enjoyed reading my book that we might read in the book club. I don't know. It's called The Teacher by Frida McFadden. Love her. Anyway, it was just another relaxing day. And then later on that night, Raven and I went to dinner. So Big Chef is a restaurant that was highly recommended on TripAdvisor. We had no issues with our reservation. We walked in, it was really nice. It didn't have the island vibe, but it was still very nice. The people were very nice, service, top tier. The host gave me a compliment on my dress and he started moving furniture so that I could take all of these photos. We ordered a bunch of food and honestly I wanted to order more but there was no way I was going to be able to eat it all. We ate, we drank, we enjoyed. Okay, so we are on our way to this place to get a full Creole breakfast. We are going to have a, a sample of a full Creole breakfast. We're gonna have two things. He didn't tell us what they are, but he said they're gonna seem kind of odd, but they go together. So we'll see what that is. They gave us this. I don't know what it is yet. And then some kind of okay. beverage. So, Salt fish and what? Beets. Yes. And what? Beets. Beans? Yeah, cake. Yes. Beets. What's that? Um, oh, okay, okay. So, so when you have this piece of lemon on the side, you pick the pork pot, put them in the sun to dry, crack the fish out of the shell, and then you would roast it. Bed roasting, that's where the hard one get it. You have to sit down and pound for about three to five hours to get the right consistency. We're going somewhere else. Crush it. But I just want to say that the tour guide has says he don't think that a lot of St. Lucians cook properly, and he was culinary trained. So... You know, it feels nice to feel validated in my opinion of some of the food here, but the people have been lovely. No complaints there. Okay, so 
So now we are at another spot and we're about to try something else. I'm not sure what. They gave us drink options. Margarita wasn't on the list, so I declined. But we could have had a piton, which is their local beer, um, water, and local juice, which is great for juice. I probably will give this to him because I can't finish it off. The doubles wasn't bad. It was just too much for me. And uh, yeah. But do you believe in walking? So it's cool. You know, walking around, seeing some of these places that we've seen out here and haven't been to. Let's see what we get next. Right. One is fruit punch, and this one is peanut. Fruit punch, what though? Simos. Oh, okay. Okay, so we are trying the different Simos. Solidify it and we've got like a gel or gelatin. Like, so we got our brown toast or something? Like, why we have a Simos? I would use other products to make it more like a gummy cocktail. We could pull it. Oh, no. I was like, no, I didn't know. It was saying that. Terrifying. Back in the day, before there were toothbrushes, they would when they were done chewing the <laughs> sugar cane. <laughs> the sugar cane and ended up like bristles and they would use it to brush their teeth. <laughs> Just guess what's in it. Sugar cane. I don't know. Pineapple? Pineapple. Okay. Mm. I don't know. I'm guessing. Okay. Cinnamon. Pineapple, cinnamon, and something else. I can't tell that to skip. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in the world. Look how <laughs> This one has more of our local spices in there. And this one, the bark comes from a tree, but I don't know the name of the tree. Raven, what you think? I can't be poking around all the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, cheers. No. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> on the next one. Mm -hmm. My chest. Oh. Oh, well, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Okay, so now I'm about to try a coconut. And we can add some coconut rum in there. If I oh. sure will. Now we're talking. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I, I <laughs> nope. I don't know if you don't like it. I think it's the temperature. It doesn't taste, doesn't taste bad. It's like it just doesn't warm. Taste nasty, I think I if say. it had some ice. Mm. I must say, the coconut tastes way better with the rum in it. We got him. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> and so now the food tour is concluded. Um, we are going to walk back because we're really close to the resort. Um, I might stop at this rooftop place because I want to cocktail. It's almost 3 o'clock. Lunch is ending at the hotel. I didn't know that this place was open, so I might go to get from there. Or I might try Rasmus Pass again, or go to left and see what else. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, so I think I might get something to eat here, check this place out. It was a list. It was on the list of places that were good here, so I don't know. And I think most of the places are more dinner places, or they're just not open on Monday. Yeah, the food tour park was pretty cool. It was interesting. While I may not have cared for a lot of the dishes, it's still cool to me to try it and experience it so I know for sure. Some of it was surprising to me. Uh, and the rum. Woo. But we had a good chat that was not safe for you two on there, and that was fun with the lady. Okay, so on to the next stop. So I am back in Atlanta, home sweet so home. We made it safely back. Um, the flight landed a little bit early, so that was good. It did start raining when we were boarding the flight and the St. Lucia airport is one of those small airports where you have to walk outside, walk up the stairs to get to the flight. So it was a bit much, but overall, great experience. I'm glad that I went. And really, I just miss Whitley. So I'm sitting here like a sad puppy at the door waiting to see my friend pull up. He's gonna come pick me a Raven up. And he brought Whitley. So I just can't wait to see my girl. Tomorrow, I have to go film another podcast tomorrow. It is called Eating While Broke. I'm a little anxious about it. I wanna get some rest tonight. I want to eat some American food. I have missed home. I am just happy. It was a long flight. That flight is four and a half hours. My Wi-Fi was quite intermittent. I just know my baby ain't had no bath, so I'm kind of Hey, girl, did you 
Did you miss me?